The following tutorial is for integrating Klarna payments. If you work with a platform such as Shopify, Magento, or WooCommerce, you can use a plugin or contact your platform provider for activating Klarna. For more information, please see the link in the description below. Klarna Checkout and Klarna Payments are both products that allow consumers to try before they buy, pay in installments, or pay directly. Purchases created through either Klarna Checkout or Klarna Payments are handled by the same order management calls, which we'll cover in a separate tutorial. Klarna Checkout is an all-in-one checkout iframe, combining address collection, shipping collection, and a payment selector module. If you'd like to learn more about Klarna Checkout, have a look at the video in the description below. Klarna Payments, on the other hand, allows you to offer only the Klarna payment methods via a fully responsive widget, which you add to your checkout page. In this way, the collection of billing and shipping information will be handled by you. The integration of Klarna Payments involves four main steps. It starts with the Create Session API call, to which Klarna will respond with available payment methods. Next, you render these payment methods in the front end. Once the user has chosen their preferred payment method and presses the Buy button, you should make an authorized call through the front end. Klarna will respond with a live risk assessment and an authorization token. You can then perform a Place Order API call with this authorization token to complete the purchase flow. To perform any API calls, you'll need API credentials. You can create these by requesting them on the Test Credentials page. Go to our developer's documentation and navigate to the Testing Environment page. Click EU or US Sign Up depending on the market to which you're selling. Then fill in your email and click Sign Up. Afterwards, Klarna will send you an email with a one-time password and a link to the merchant portal. Insert your email address and the one-time password provided in the email. Read through Klarna's terms and conditions, and when ready, agree and continue. When you log into the Merchant Portal for the first time, you'll have to choose a new password. Let's take a look at the Merchant Portal app menu. This is where you manage your orders, check your logs, handle your settlement files, and more. But for now, we're going to the Settings app. Click Generate New API Credentials. Now your API credentials are generated. These will only be shown once, so make sure that you copy them or download them as a text file and save them securely. We can perform all our calls using these credentials in Postman. At any point, you can generate new credentials. In order to perform the API calls in this tutorial, we'll use Postman. Postman is a tool that allows you to easily make API calls during development. The first step we need to take is creating a new request. Let's call this request Klarna Payments Create Session. You can also add a description to your request. For example, creating session for Klarna payments. We'll store this request in a collection and we'll call it test store. It's time to add our generated credentials in the authorization tab. Klarna uses basic auth, so let's choose that in the dropdown. Copy the credentials from the text file we downloaded before and paste them into the correct place in Postman. Next up, headers. Add a content type header that lets Klarna know that we expect a JSON response. We do that by adding content type application slash JSON. Okay, there are two main parts that are left to set up, the Klarna endpoint and the body of the request. First, the endpoint. For this, we'll head over to Klarna's API documentation at developers.klarna.com slash API. As you can see, there are test and live environment URLs that Klarna provides. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll use the test environment URL and copy that into the request URL line in Postman. On the left-hand side, you can see an overview of all available API calls. Let's look at the Payments API and create a new credit session. Note that this is a POST request, so let's set it up in Postman and copy over the endpoint. The second part is to focus on the body of the request. Click RAW and select JSON as the body type. The details that we need to send in when creating a Klarna payment session are available in our developer documentation. There's a tab for the request parameters and the response that you'll get back from Klarna. Note that for the request parameters, some are required while others are optional. You'll also see an example of a full request on the right-hand side. For now, we'll only focus on the required fields, and we've prepared an example file that you can use for your test calls. We'll link to it in the description below. Copy all of it into the body of the request. All right, we have the Klarna Create Session call set up with the required data, and now we can save and send the request. Klarna will respond with a session ID, a client token, and the payment method categories. 
we've created a simple HTML file linked in the description below that you can use to render the payment method categories. Open the HTML file in a text editor of your choice. In this video, we're using Sublime Text. At the top of the HTML file, you'll find the Klarna Payments JavaScript library that's required to render the payment methods and to perform the authorize call. The init function initializes the Klarna Payments library, which allows you to call the load and authorize functions. The load function loads the Klarna widget. The authorize function should be triggered as the customer proceeds with Klarna as a selected payment method. Klarna will respond to this call with a risk assessment result. At the bottom of the file, you'll see a div and a button. The div serves as the container for the widget to be displayed, and the button will trigger the authorize function in the front end. The next step is to fill in the required data in the functions. The init function expects a client token, which you received as a response to the create session API call. Go back to Postman, copy the client token, and paste it in the init function. The load function expects a payment method category, which you also received in the response to the create session call. So let's go back to Postman, copy the payover time identifier, and paste it as a value in the payment method category. Note that based on your commercial agreement with Klarna, you might have more than one payment method category available. Follow these steps for each one. You are now ready to present the Klarna payments widget to the user. Save the file and copy the relative path over to a browser. We'll open the developer console as we'll be logging the responses of our front-end calls. As you can see, the response for the load call is show form true. The decision is based on a soft risk check that Klarna performs and lets you know whether you can show the widget to the user or not. Once the user chooses Klarna as their payment method and clicks the buy button, the authorize function should be called. Go back to the authorize function in the HTML file. You'll need to send in the user's chosen payment method category, their billing address, and cart details. Let's go back to the front end and press on your buy button. The result of a successful authorization is an authorization token, which will be used when creating an order. The response also includes a show form field, which indicates whether or not you should remove the Klarna payment option. Note that the authorization token is valid for 60 minutes. Now that you have the authorization token, you can complete the purchase by placing the order via a server-side call in Postman. First, we'll create the place order request by duplicating the create session API call. We'll change the title to Klarna Payments Place Order and the description to Placing an Order with Klarna. Next, we'll need the API endpoint to place the order. Let's take that from the developer documentation. Scroll down to Payments API, click Orders, and go to Create New Order. Copy the endpoint over to Postman. Paste the authorization token into the designated place and edit the body of the request. The order details, such as cart, billing, and shipping information, need to be the same as those sent in with the authorization call. We prepared a file with the required data. It's linked in the description below. Copy over the data into the body. Among the order details in this request, it's recommended to include your confirmation page URL. Klarna will use it to optimize the experience of your returning users by interacting with the customer's browser as a first party and not in an iframe or similar. This is done by bouncing the browser on a Klarna.com domain before presenting the confirmation page. Let's place the order now. Klarna will respond to the place order API call with an order ID, which we will use to perform order management calls, a redirect URL that you should send the customer's browser to, and fraud status, which could contain accepted, rejected, or pending. And that's it! In this video, you integrated Klarna Payments. You can find links to our integration guide in the description below. See you next time!